what an exciting time it is to be a content creator. So my whole focus for 2025 is automation. If I am repeating steps over and over again, I wanna find a way to automate them. I don't wanna hire employees, I wanna stay a solopreneur, and so it's very important to me to be able to do this all through systems rather than people. Now, I am making money already on this new blog. I did get qualified for Journeys ad revenue program with the Grow plugin on WordPress, and I'm making money every day. That alone makes this worth maximizing the opportunity. And what my goal is, is to take this blog where I'm doing all these pins and scale this with multiple accounts, different niches. I'm so excited about what I'm creating. I think it's very valuable for the user. So some quick examples here, and I'm gonna show you something cool that I'm doing with automation. So six bright and cheerful yellow bedroom ideas, six mouth-watering lemon cobbler recipes, 12 jaw-dropping small camper interior design ideas. You're getting the idea of what's happening here with these blogs. Now I've got enough time behind me because I started this in, in early Mar or early 2024, like second quarter, I think it was. I've got enough data behind me now where I know what kind of pins are working. I know what kind of articles are working. I understand the list style posts. So now I'm at the point where I can automate because I've been doing all so much manually to figure it all out. But I am doing the AI. I'm using AI for the entire thing. All right, now watch this. Let me give you an example. This one right here, six, 10 groovy neon bedroom ideas, okay? So the, the pin was created with AI using a chat GPT prompt. And when somebody clicks through and goes to the blog, you're gonna be able to see here that that was created with AI image prompt. The entire blog was written with AI. Now. I'm going to show you the basics of this flow that I created that does all of this. Then I'm going to come back to you on the images because I'm going to have AI put images in each one of these sections. It's not here yet because I don't like the output right now, but at least I'm getting the immediates done. So I'm going to show you, this is going to evolve over 2025. By the end, we're going to have these incredible automated workflows that just do everything for us, which is what the goal is. And for the more geeky people that have already built out these flows, you're welcome to share with us what you have put in yours. And then I'm going to be using this software right here. It's called Make, M-A-K-E. Oh, it's so geeky. And I am going to share the link with you down below. They did give me an affiliate link, so I will share that with you. Okay, so be careful, pay attention. This is geeky, okay? But I'm gonna make this as simple as I possibly can. My first step in the entire process, and later this will all become part of this workflow, but my first step I did, and I did this all yesterday. I built this whole thing yesterday. So the, my first step is this, articles to write. So I created a Google Sheet, and these are my headers. Keyword, title, excerpt, and you don't even have to worry about the rest because it's not part of the flow right now. So those three pieces, keyword, title, excerpt. Now watch this quick little automation that I set up. So I can open my little Harpa Chrome extension, which is right here, and I'll put a link below. This is gonna use ChatGPT anywhere I'm at. So on any page, I can use this Chrome extension. It'll read the page, it'll run my prompts. You don't have to have that. You can use whatever AI tool you're using, but I'm just showing you exactly what I do, okay? So here's my next step. I go over to pin clicks. I'll put a link below. This is a software I use. If you don't have the money to pay for tools right now, just go to Pinterest as an engine and you can search there. But let's just say I am looking for ideas on crafts today. So I've divided my blog up into, let's just say 20 main categories, and I'm trying to rotate ideas through these categories. So crafts is a good one, right? So I can look down here, crafts for boyfriend. I haven't done any of those, crafts for toddlers. So you can play around with these kind of little sub niches here. You know, it's winter right now. What if we take a look at winter crafts and see what pin clicks? So pin clicks is an analytic software it um, is pulling in all the data from Pinterest and is giving it to us in easier usability, let's just say, 
okay? And with more data to make more educated decisions on what content to create. So we have winter crafts for kids, winter crafts for adults, winter crafts for babies, winter crafts for classrooms. You see how different these are? Let's go with this one, winter, easy winter crafts. So I'm gonna go over here to see top pins, easy winter crafts. Now, actually, if I have not created a blog yet called Easy Winter Crafts, that would be the first one I, I would create. I think I've already done it. So I'm gonna take a look here, beaded pipe cleaner snowflakes. So scroll down to the bottom here and Pinclix is giving us all these really cool annotated interests. It kind of even takes it down a little bit further. So pipe cleaner snowflakes, that's a good one. I don't have to do the beaded one, but I could do pipe cleaner snowflakes. So watch this little thing that I have. So right here, I'm going back to my spreadsheet. This is my kind of like new content calendar right now. And I built this all this morning, this whole spreadsheet I did this morning. So up here, I'm gonna go to Harpa and I have this little prompt I'm gonna run. Watch, the, watch what it does. So it's called keyword title meta. That's my little name for my prompt. Watch what it does. So it's gonna say, hey, Please tell me your target keyword, pipe cleaner snowflakes. Now watch what it does. It's going to give me 10 article idea suggestions. Now later, I'm going to make this all part of that make flow. But for right now, this is my starting piece. I'm building that automation flow in tiny little pieces to make sure I get it right at each of the segments. Yesterday, I tried to put the whole thing together and then I couldn't find out where things were breaking. So I paused and said, all right, let me get these into individual steps and then we'll work on each flow in these little tiny segments, right? All right, so pick one of these, how to make stunning pipe cleaner snowflakes, seven creative ways, DIY guide, craft beautiful. So do you want it to be a listicle with a number or do you want it to be a how-to, right? Five fun pipe cleaner snowflake projects for crafty afternoon. I'm going with that one. Okay, now I'm just gonna paste it here. Or I could say, give me number five. Now, up. Oh, Hold on one second. Let me just switch that connection there. So this Harpa Chrome extension, if you don't have a ChatGPT account, you can put money in it and it'll run for you. But if you have a ChatGPT account, all you have to do is change the connection from like four to 4.1 or to 3.5 and then you don't have to pay extra money. Anyway, that's really geeky, but here we go. So I had to run this really quick again. So 10 creative designs, how to make, all right, let me just go with number two. So now what it's gonna do is it's gonna give me a copy and pasteable little table for my spreadsheet. So this was step one. So then all I gotta do is highlight that and I'm gonna put it right here, okay? So recap, we used pin clicks to find the topic we wanna create. Later I'll show you how to do this in bulk, but not today. So we went over and we found a keyword we wanna create. Then we used a quick little Harpa prompt. I put a link to Harpa below where I saved what I wanted it to do and it gave me this quick little item for my spreadsheet. Then what's gonna happen is this blog, this little make formula, M-A-K-E, link below, is going to run and I have it running every five minutes. So let me stop it and start it over again here. So it'll go out and grab this. Now you could have it run every 15 minutes. You could have it run every hour. You could have it run every whatever it is you want. Okay, so here it is. So now I'm just going to run it once. Now watch what it does. First thing it does, it goes to that Google sheet and it looks for a new row. So it's watching for a new row. If it finds a new row, you can see it populating right here. It goes to ChatGPT and starts writing the article based on my prompt that I plugged in. Now, if it doesn't find a new row, it just won't do anything. But if it finds a new row, it writes, it goes to chat GPT and it keeps spinning here. And then the next step is to convert it to markdown format. It puts it in HTML for me just so that when it puts it on the WordPress blog, it's in the right format. So look for a new row. If new row, write the blog, convert to HTML, publish it to WordPress. Now let's go look at it and see how it came out. So we're going to go here. We're gonna to go to dashboard and we're gonna look for posts and we're gonna see that the new post is right here. 10 creative designs for DIY pipe cleaner snowflakes. If I preview it, here you go. Proper markdown format. 
One thing I have to figure out is how to get it stop publishing that title twice because that's something that I notice. So there's my headers, there's a full blog. Now the other thing that I love about this flow is that I set it up to automatically create um, an excerpt. So there's already a little excerpt, which is kind of like this description that shows up in multiple places. I also set it to create a slug. That is what comes after the URL. So I'll show you if I edit this really quick, I'll show you what I mean. So this is a time saver just right here. If you look to the right, look, the slug, the little words that come after the main URL is the keyword. So now it'll be ballonblogger.com slash pipe dash cleaner dash snowflakes instead of that long, ugly title. So again, you know, whether or not you're working on SEO or not, having that keyword in your URL could be beneficial. I'm not going to get into big SEO conversations because this blog is designed for Pinterest. So usually I'll come in here now and I'll just create my images. But again, later, that's all going to be part of this flow. I had it working yesterday. I just didn't like the image output and I didn't like the image resolution. So once I figure that out, I'll come back to you and show you what I'm doing. But here would be my final step. So this is in draft mode now. So now I'm going to come up here to Harpa and I have this little saved AI prompt. And it is right here. It's called FEM Balan Blogger. And it basically just says, hey, give me an AI image prompt that's going to create this, you know, an image. Okay, so I'm going to do that one. It says make it feminine. It says put the text overlay. Listen, if you're in my group coaching program, I teach you all of this. I also have courses. Hold on. Let me see why it pulled the wrong thing there. It's be Oh, it's because I'm in the wrong chat. Let's see. Let me go to, let's see if that one will run. And I'm going to do FEM Balan Blogger. Okay, hold on one second. Okay, here we go. I just had to change it to another, you know, ChatGPT now has so many different models, 3.5, 4.0, yada, yada. Okay, so here it gave me the description. A clean Pinterest style image featuring a soft feminine aesthetic with a snowy winter theme. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to come over to Ideagram. Again, links to all this are below. And then I'm just going to paste it right here. I'm going to say, give me a 9 by 16 image. So the first thing it'll make me is a pin. Now, the images you're looking at here, those are not mine. These are just part of a shared public library. People are sharing what they make. Down at the bottom right-hand side, you're going to see my pins populating. Man, I've played around with this prompt for so long to get these the way I want them. And now I'm so happy. So now, as soon as I get the flow to run these prompts correctly, I'll be just in full automation. Ooh, pretty. Look, 10 creative DIY pipe cleaner snowflakes. Those, that is gorgeous. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to download, save this JPEG as pipe cleaner pin. And then I'm just going to convert it to a 16.9. Well, not convert it. It's going to generate a new image, 16.9. And that will give me the image to the blog. And I'll show you this final step. So while that's populating, I come over here, I go to Pinterest and I go to create pin. Then I browse for the image, pipe cleaner pin, paste it. Then I go back to my blog and I usually just take this for the first one, whatever the title is, 10 creative, stop right there. Okay, copy that. All right, paste that there. And then usually I just grab this little intro here. I can also have my prompts spit out multiple Pinterest titles and descriptions, but for this, this is easy. Then the board, this is going to go on for right now. Um, ooh, you know what? I need a new board. Let's do a new board called Winter Crafts. So I'm going to do Winter Crafts and I'm going to create. This is going on Pinterest. And then I'm going to look for their tags, winter crafts. Maybe we're going to look up snowflake, paper snowflakes. Maybe we're going to look up DIY crafts. I'm just kind of, you know, putting in their tag topics for best odds. I don't always do that, by the way. Um, so let's do snowflakes. 
Oh, we did that one already. Okay, anyway, you get the idea there. Now we need to get the link from the blog. So we gotta grab our, sorry, grab our new 16.9 image. There it is. Let's pick one that we like. I think I like this one. 10 creative DIY pipe cleaner snowflakes. So you see it creates four and then you just pick the one that you like the best. They don't always come out perfect. This one did. 10 creative DIY pipe cleaners. I'm going with this one. Download it. And I'm going to call this um, pipe cleaner snowflake article. Go back to my blog. Now, see the excerpt has already been populated for me. So that's a step I don't have to do because that was in all my automation. We're going to upload, select file, pipe cleaner. Okay. And I'm going to say I'm probably only days away from figuring out this photo element. And then I won't have to pause and do any of this. It's just going to do it all for me. It's going to go straight to Pinterest, straight to Facebook, all of that. So pipe cleaner snowflakes. We're going to put this in the crafts. Then if you have any tags you want to use, I might have a winter craft tag. Oh, I saw it already on there. I think I just added another one. Maybe snowflakes. I don't know. Depends on what you're using. So here we go. Done. URL is done. Now, when I publish this, because of my theme, it's going to put that image right up top for me. So the blog is technically done. Now, what I tend to do right now is as soon as I start getting traffic to this blog, I come in here and make all the other images. But pretty soon my workflow is going to make it all on the onset, right up, right up front, right? So then I grab this link and I post to Pinterest. So really that whole process, because of the automation, takes maybe 10 minutes once I'm done. Because all I have to do is after it's written is make the two images, pin the pin, and add the image. So probably 10 minutes from the start of the keyword. And what's really cool about this too is now all day long, I can just add thoughts right here add this keyword placement in here and go, okay, let me, let me add that. Let me add that. Let me add that. Or if I'm in Pinterest looking at, at other accounts and I see a pin, that's a good idea. Oh yeah. Let me add that. Then I walk away and forget about it. And it's all being published right now, sitting in my draft folder in my blog. So when I'm ready to publish one, I just go right back in and publish it. But after this flow is done, I will just set it on interval timers and it's going to publish it all for me. So I just wanted to show you guys, this is the beginning phase. This is one day's worth of work. And I can't believe how much time I've already saved entering this new year, 2025. And I will continue to show you more. Please take a look at my Blueprint Coaching Program if you want more tutorials and training and courses and live calls and resources and community like this one. I'm Lori Ballin. Thank you for joining me today.